odd. Big time. Of, of just, oh, look what they're doing. They were sort of very low-key, and, you know, they were just denigrating, especially denigrating Sherry Kane. Um, and trying, Hilda was suggesting that he couldn't even remember her real name. Is he was calling Shelley? her Shelly Kane. Yeah. He did that in the past, too. Yeah. And he insulted her appearance. Oh, and then it got even worse. Then he starts talking about another woman who he did not name and trying to tie her to Sherry Kane. This woman is not connected to Sherry Kane nor anything that Sherry Kane has done. And he basically uh, accused this woman, I don't know the truth of the story, but he, his, his allegations were that this woman was basically uh, sexually harassing, <laughs> harassing him or something. <laughs> is that right? Okay. All right. And he tells these bizarre stories, something <coughs> like she, he's in the shower, right? And she comes in and asks, oh, do you want your, me to scrub your back? And he says, okay. Well, what the hell is he doing? If he says, okay, what does that tell you about him? And then he says, and then, he, and then and later on, he, he talks about going to a nude beach, and the woman takes off her clothes. Well, what the hell is that? Why introduce this story? Uh, it just shows what a sleaze bag he is, whatever the woman is, okay? And why connect that to Sherry Kane and Glenn Horowitz? He's got nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with the facts of the case. Right, the whole thing, the video, which is an hour long, is just like it's blithering. It's just, it just, there's no, uh, you know, it's just an attack. Like you said, it's a hit piece. Yes, it was. And let, let's bring another element. This is really interesting, Howard. They mentioned a number of people in this video as good guys. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the names that I do remember. And of course, the, you know, except for one name, they're all bad guys. And the one name of the good guy is Bill Cooper. That's right. right. All right. So now they're talking about Alex Jones is being attacked. Truod is being attacked. Ted Gunderson, Anthony Helder, Doug Millar. All right. And those are the, the names of the little cabal, the little club there. Then they bring in Bill Cooper. And, of course, Anthony Hilder and, and Truott both, you know, had a, an acquaintance at least with, with Bill Cooper. I don't know the details there, but they definitely named him as a good guy. Well, guess what, Howard, as well Of know, course he's a good Alex guy. Alex Jones. Well, Alex Jones Alex is not. Jones ex uh, Bill Cooper exposed Alex Jones That's in right. 2000. And don't tell me they're not aware of it. So how are you going to group in... Bill Cooper and Alex Jones. They were adversaries from the beginning. That's right. From the beginning. Okay? That's right. Just as I have been an adversary of Alex Jones from the beginning. And as I mentioned on the Sabotage broadcast, Howard, that, you know, I had met Bill Cooper at the UFO conferences during the 80s that I used to attend on a press pass. Um, and, of course, I was still inside then. But I was still working. I was still a journalist. And... Uh, you know, I had interviewed Bill Cooper for my radio show, which I had in Greenwich at the time, Greenwich, Connecticut. And uh, so, yeah, I was, and I had some brief communications with him after that time, with like email, things like that. All right, so now they're trying to lump Bill Cooper, the hero, he is a hero, okay, in with Alex Jones, and they fail to mention, again, this adversarial relationship. One person, Bill Cooper, a truth teller. The other person, Alex Jones, a shill, a total shill, and somebody who's a fear monger. And of course, Alex Jones was a big supporter of Ted Gunderson, as we well know, John DeCamp. Well, I think it was, I think what happened was it's more like, you know, where did he come from? Where did Alex Jones just yeah. appear from? He came from this, all of his early videos, he, all of Hilder's videos, that I saw Hilder's videos because of Alex Jones. They were on Alex Jones's website. Mm -hmm. Hilder's videos and Gunderson's videos. They're on his website. I can tell you where he came from, Howard. Where did he come from? This is my belief. Okay. This is my considered, let me put it this way, my considered professional opinion. After investigating Alex Jones for at least a decade and a half, if not more, is Alex Jones came from Mockingbird, a CIA operation in which journalists are used in a counterintelligence program. And of course, I was involved in similar operations when I was inside. Right. I'm certainly not involved now. Of course. Uh, if, I, if I were, 
I wouldn't be in the position that I am in right now where I've just lost everything and my name is mud basically. well, well th that's the other thing well you see this there are many of us that speak the truth a lot of us and, and many people know Barbara that that you are telling the truth and that you and the people that support you are also people like Chris Freedom Flowers knew about you we, we knew about I knew about you before I met you so we knew about the targets but I'll tell you it's deceptive because the people out there that uh, um, we you know as a collective have look, looked up to like Alex Jones because the psychology of this deception is that well look everybody else is lying he's telling the truth nobody's telling he's telling the truth he's telling what they're really doing He's talking about the vaccines. He's talking about the food and the GMO. He's the truth of the and matter it, is, Howard, that Alex Jones has lots of money. He's in with the bad guys. He's in with the cops. He's in with all these publicity stunts that he yeah. has. He's arrested. No, no, no. He was in there from the beginning. And this is these are public staged stunts. events. Yeah. And actually, we talked about this on the sabotage broadcast. Yes, we did. That the fact that I was ripped off the air, un unplugged by Alex Jones in 2003. That's 10 years ago now. 2003, uh, because I was on another program, the Jeremy Floyd Show, exposing Ted Gunderson and John DeCamp. On and GCN. Alex Jones, that's right. That GCN. Alex Jones freaked out. He threatened Jeremy Floyd. He pulled the plug when Jeremy refused to put me off the air. And he was censoring, obviously, censoring the truth. And guess what? He continually had Ted Gunderson on the air, Alex Jones, right up to the end. Okay? That's right. The last interview was from a hospital room with Ted Gunderson. All right? And he also is a big, you know, supporter of John DeCamp. John DeCamp is an American, a real American hero. John DeCamp is a perp, okay? He was involved in CIA black operations. He was involved in Phoenix, Operation Phoenix, and his so-called Franklin cover-up was nothing more than a cover-up of a cover-up with Ted Gunderson and others, which I exposed. Do you know how dangerous that is, Howard? Oh, yes. It's very, very dangerous because they thought they had it covered. Well, it's the satanic ritual. Yes. Child murders and the child, the whole, these children that are abducted and for, sat for satanic ritual abuse, they were covering it up by exposing it. Exactly. But <laughs> Co Pro. That's right, exactly. Expose so the big operation, but lie about who the real perpetrators were, at least some of them. Okay, some of them got nabbed. Yes. Not, well, some of them got exposed. For those okay. that are not aware about the Franklin cover up, it involved, um, or, you know, like orgies at the White House with. You know, gay prostitutes and, and flying and children in, flying children in for sex and, and this satanic was rituals. Absolutely disgusting. Despicable. It was absolutely disgusting. And this this went through the Bush and Reagan administrations, the Reagan to Bush administrations. And uh, again, these guys, this skull and bones, the secret societies are, are behind uh, this. And it truly is a secret shadow government. Shadow Wolves. Why do you think the Bilderberg Group meets in silence? Now they, now that that's out, they have to cover it up and make a, put up another front. And there's they something else. They continuously put fronts about, against the truth. There's something else here operating here too. Howard, yes. I think it's really important that we mention this, and that's the MK Ultra operation. As you well know, I'm a survivor of MK Ultra, as is my sister Irene, and these bastards from CIA had us from childhood. All right, this was this operation was meant to create quote the perfect spy during the Cold War era. It wasn't about sex slaves. That was the sideshow called Mono. And that's guess who's promoting? We all know it's Fritz Springmeier, Martin Phillips, all these people. These people <coughs> what they have come forward with. It's not that there's no truth to some of what they have presented. It's that there is a sideshow happening here so that the real purpose of MKUltra, the deadly purpose of MKUltra, is hidden <clears throat> behind this circus. Circus. And, you know, as you know, Howard, I've exposed Fritz Springmeier, not to the extent that I could have so far. I haven't spent a lot of time on that. I do have the documents. Um, 
and of course I've exposed Mark Phillips. And all these people again are in the club. Ted Gunderson comes up again. John DeCamp, Mark Phillips, Fritz Springmeyer, Alex Jones. Yeah, they all they're all in the same they're club. All in it Anthony J. Hilder. That's right. True odd. That's right. That's right. Well he supposedly the, the interesting thing is how, how Hilder stated in that video, to my recollection or to my knowledge, yeah. I, I've never met. To my recollection. To my recollection. I've never, I've never met True Ott. Yeah, right. As if you never heard of True Ott or something like that. And that's impossible. Another thing I would like to bring up is some of the whack jobs <laughs> that uh, True Ott is actually promoting. There, there's some whack job, literal, a, a whack job. A crazy woman named Francine Kelly. And you know, this woman came out of nowhere and started slinging my name around, attacking me, calling me all kinds of names, making these accusations. And he, he, this woman, this Francine Kelly, claims to be an MKUltra uh, intelligence asset. And they don't <laughs> have, look, CIA monarch, monarch intelligence asset. It's absolute nonsense. There's no monarch was never a CIA operation. I'll repeat that. Never a CIA operation. Never a sub-project of MKUltra. Alright? I'm not saying there's no such thing going on, but it's not. It's not monarch. They're saying, monarch is the cover name. No, monarch is not the cover name. Monarch <coughs> is a false Man, name that's... attributed to a CIA operation. That's what I mean. Yeah, so fall. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's just a. It's, it's just a, a. You know, they're just using it as a as a red herring as far as the name. Well, that's right. That's right. And yet, all of these people. You look, Fritz Springmeier, Mark Phillips, Truat, Monarch, Monarch, Monarch. Okay. Now this Francine Kelly comes in. She starts attacking me again. Tim White was involved with this. Tim White told Francine Kelly evidently all these bizarre false stories about me and suddenly I'm being accused of being involved in the abuse of Francine Kelly. Never heard of this whack job Howard until maybe 2010 when I suddenly look up one day or 2009 and I see my name appearing on the internet with all these bizarre accusations. So I exposed this woman in several reports. I issued a directive for her to cease and desist invading my privacy. She was like a stalker, like Tim White. Wow. All right? And this is who True Ott and Doug Millar are promoting. Uh, just another whack job claiming to be CIA monarch. Mm -hmm. And this is all just absolute bullshit. In, 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 in no other words could I really describe it, okay? It's just utter nonsense. Wow. You see what I'm saying here? These these characters are uh, they they're operating in a web of lies, just an absolute web of lies, false information, false accusations, uh, false accusations against people that are well known in order to discredit those individuals. And that certainly includes Len Horowitz and, and Sherry Kane, uh, who have done great work, I must say, in exposing this this, this uh, cabal, okay? Len Horowitz, I can tell you this, that Len Horowitz, I believe, was unaware of this up until around 2007 when he became targeted, okay? He didn't know, I don't think he knew why they put his name on a he was targeted. list. He was targeted because of a, of, a, of his book, um, Emerging Viruses, AIDS, and Ebola, because they even targeted him on a television show, one of those medical shows where, it's interesting, he exposed this in a video where it's true, they said Horowitz murdered as if they wanted to kill him, you know, uh, on a headline of, an, of a newspaper in the television show. I'm trying to remember which uh, show it was, but it was in that time frame. In that. Okay, well, what happened is, as, as far as what I, I knew about They it, wanted to kill that, him. That they tried to kill Len him. Len Horowitz 